Imagine this. You wake up one morning, turn on the news, and see that a disaster has occurred in Europe. An outbreak of a new foodborne illness has rendered $10.5 billion of food inedible. On top of that, the only country with the infrastructure, enough excess food, and the strict controls to make sure the same endemic or the same disease was not endemic was the U.S. How would you feel if I told you the situation did happen, not with food, but with another necessity, blood plasma? As U.S. citizens, we are in a unique position that helped build this deficit, saving lives, advancing research in medicine, and, and making some extra money for ourselves on the side. <coughs> because of the outbreak of the disease known as variant Crutzville jacob disease in 1996, the U.S. has become a primary source of blood plasma uh, for the affected nations, which has allowed the industry to reach the levels it has today. While it may not be apparent to you in my audience yet, my education and my degree in biology illustrate the importance of blood plasma as a commodity to me. In my experience, I've seen in my experience working at a blood uh, donation facility, I've seen firsthand the donation process, the practices of handling and testing plasma in order to ship it. I'm familiar with the output a single center can produce, and I know the target demographic of such services. So the importance of blood plasma as a commodity is understood. I'm going to explain uh, what exactly plasma is and the derivatives that are used to help people. Next I'm going to relay the recent history of the industry, its relation to the uh, outbreak of very Crestfield Jacob disease, and how this has led to reliance on the United States plasma. To illustrate the importance of plasma, I'm going to explain exactly what plasma is. Plasma is the liquid solution of blood in which the cells are suspended. In most, in most cases, in most cases when people refer to plasma, they're talking about oh, whole blood. They're talking about whole blood with the red blood cells removed. Constituents of blood plasma include small proteins such as albumins, globulins, and clotting factors. As well as glucose. Don't use the point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As well as Electrolytes, salt, gases, and other molecules that need to be transported by the body. In medicine, plasma is used in two different ways. Directly in transfusions to help victims of trauma, blood loss, and severe burns. Additionally, plasma can undergo a process called fractionation in which it is heated in several steps uh, so that it vaporizes, leaving behind its solid components. Some of these components include coagulation factors to treat people with hemophilia and clotting diseases, uh, albumin solutions, which uh, treat are used to treat people with shock and blood loss, and immunoglobulins, which are used to treat people with immune disorders. Here you can see the percentage by volume that make up each of the different components, albumin being the most by volume, and then coagulation factors, and er, immunoglobulins. Now that we understand what exactly plasma is, I'm going to explain the event in 1996 that has led to the restructuring of the plasma industry and what it is today. The outbreak of very crestful Jacob disease in 1996 has rendered uh, most plat plasma in most European countries unused, unsafe even today. Variant Crestville Jacob disease is a prion disease whose epidemiology is still not completely understood. 
According to Wikipedia, or no, I'm sorry, according to the World Health Organization, uh, symptoms of very crustal Jacobs disease include psychi psychiatric symptoms such as depression and anxiety, as well as neurological symptoms such as uncontrollable motion and trouble waking. These eventually lead the victim mute and immobile and lead to death at a meeting of 14 months after infection. Variant Crutchfield Jacobs disease is a chronic disease caused by misfolded proteins. From Wikipedia, a prion is a misfolded self replicating protein that converts the normal non prion form of the protein into the prion form. Very uh, Crestwell Jacob disease is a neurological disease in which a buildup of these prions in neural tissue leads to uh, neurodegenesis. Uh, this leaves a plaque on the brain that leaves it spongy, uh, which is where its name comes from, where the general term for the disease name uh, encephalopathy, encephalopathy comes from. The outbreak caused by the outbreak of B. Uh, Barrett Crestfield Jacob disease was caused by transmission through beef with bovine spongiform encephalopathy or mad cow disease, which is the analogous disease in cattle. The outbreak in 1996 was due to practices in the United Kingdom that allowed for leftover materials from the butchery process to be added to cattle feed. This caused possibly one or few original cases to be spread <coughs> to the whole population of cattle to where it became the epidemic that it was. Since 1996, 229 people worldwide have been identified with variant crutzville jacobs disease, 177 of those cases in the United Kingdom, which was the epicenter of the epidemic. In contrast to the United Kingdom practices, it was not common practice at the time to add ruminant tissue to ruminant feed as filler in the United States. Because of this, the U.S. is a major plasma source for the affected countries. To review, the importance of plasma, we now know the importance of plasma as a commodity. We, I explained the recent history in, of the plasma industry and how this has led to the modern day plasma industry. From this, we can see how the outbreak in 1996 of variant crystal Jacob disease has led to reliance on U.S. plasma. In conclusion, we as U.S. residents are in a unique position. We are able to help aid the unquenchable demand for plasma while making some extra money for ourselves.